tip to fish the Tokyo rig more effectively. So unless you've been living under the rock, you guys have heard of the Tokyo rig. Hopefully some of you guys have fished it and landed some freaking nice bass with this one, all right? So this is a good, you know, basic setup to set it up. You know, one bullet weight crimped up on there. Yeah, that's all cool and dandy and all. Throw that away. You ain't ever gonna fish it that way ever again. Change that you're looking for. You want two bullet weights with a, uh, a bead in the, in the middle of it. What this is gonna do is gonna make you uh, way more effective. It's gonna make that noise. Fishing with this will allow you better contact with the lake bottom. It'll keep that hook and your, uh, your bait presentation right up above the surface. Um, you can hop it along the bottom. You can drag it along the bottom and you can swim this too. Especially if you have it contacting the bottom. Just, instead of just dragging it nice and slow, drag it a little faster, you'll swim it, you throw your swim baits up on there and uh, it just gives it a little bit better of an action right there. It keeps it up off the bottom. And I'm telling you, man, you will have a lot better, uh, you'll have bigger bites off this thing. Just just making that little change right here. You can also use this to uh, pitch it into some uh, thick grass. If you're doing you know, some flipping and stuff. No, no, this not, is not a flipping hook, but VMC does make a flipping hook Tokyo rig. So you can use this same setup right here and punch through that thick, heavy cover, that thick matted grass, whatever you're punching through. Fish this around docks, fish this on rocks, clay bottoms, um, just whatever. Pair it up with your favorite soft plastics that you have. It could be anything. You fish it with a, a freaking Sanko, you Texas rig it, fish it with your uh, creature baits, your swim baits. I fished it with a fluke actually. And man, I tell you what, dude, like, it changed it, you know? It, it was it was good. I liked it. It kept that fluke up on the bottom. I know it's not really, you know, kind of like how you really fish the fluke, but it was a good way, good game changer, different presentation on that bait that the bass haven't seen lately. And uh, it definitely helped me out, man. Like, try it out. One, hopefully you catch a big fish. If you do, take a freaking picture of it and share it around the world, because if you ain't got a picture, did you really catch it?